family and friends back home. I love y'all and I wish that I could be there. Um, I'm gonna make this kind of quick because I don't have a lot of memory on my camera, but I just wanted to say a few things about Grandma and my memories of her and um, and how she will always be in my mind, both a, a very strong woman and also a very creative woman. Strong in part because she spent years and years and years living in a farmhouse where for several summers I tried to live there and barely slept a night. She. Um, I, I thought about that a lot, how she had managed to live there for so long and, and, and I, as far as I know slept quite peacefully um, for a lot of that. Also um, in terms of creativity, the way that she um, she taught me how to, how to bake things, she let me take on strange things like pasta from hand, I tried to make it and made a huge mess in the kitchen I still remember. Also um, sewing, she um, showed me how to sew both by hand and with her sewing machine and I have a bag with an apple print all over it somewhere in somebody's house. Um, also she had a really good sense of humor which I um, I really appreciate. Um, there's a few different jokes and moments I remember even when she was getting sick that um, that make me smile but I do remember even as a child when um, we got back from a church service where maybe maybe um, there was a dispute about what the pastor had to say. Grandma saying to mom, oh, when I don't like what he has to say I just uh, I just turn off my hearing aid. Um, those are really small examples and there's a, there's a lot more I could say. Like I said, I don't have a, a lot of data on my phone, but um, she's a woman I'd like to be like. I'd love to have somebody someday talking about me the way that I could talk about her. She's a woman I strive to be like as I get older and, um, and um, I, I, she's an amazing woman and I will treasure her in my mind for the rest of my life and I love her to pieces and um, I miss y'all too. And I wish I could be there, and I'm sorry I can't.